Hey Vision Tech fans, welcome back to the channel. So, if you've been hoping that Samsung would finally expand its One UI 8 beta program to more countries, you might want to lower those expectations a bit. Because just like before, Samsung is sticking to its usual pattern of keeping the beta release very limited and selective. Some recent activity on Samsung's official community forums shows that the One UI 8 beta is expected to be available in only seven countries just like we saw in previous years. So if you were expecting a wider rollout this time, it looks like that's not happening. Right now, beta-specific forums are already up in five countries, Germany, India, Poland, the UK, and the US. The other two, China and South Korea, are expected to join in soon, as Samsung gets ready to begin the participation phase there too. Sadly, there's been no official sign or announcement that the beta will reach any new regions this year. And that lines up perfectly with what happened in the past with One UI 6 and One UI 7, where Samsung focused only on countries with highly active user communities that provide strong feedback. Still, even if the beta won't reach everyone, there's something exciting to look forward to. One UI 8, based on Android 16, is bringing some nice improvements. It's not a massive redesign, but the smaller changes and system optimizations could really improve your overall experience. And what's even better is that this version is coming earlier than last year, thanks to Android 16's faster rollout. But let's talk about the big news, battery life. If you were frustrated with how One UI 7 affected your phone's battery, you're definitely not alone. But this time, Samsung might finally be addressing that issue. There's no official confirmation from Samsung yet, but reliable tipster Terran Vats recently shared some leaks that have gotten people really excited. He posted screenshots from a Galaxy S25 Ultra running the beta version of One UI 8, and the results were surprisingly good. The phone was running at Quad HD resolution, connected to Wi-Fi, and still managed to hit 7 hours of screen on time, and that's with 22% battery still left. That's not just decent. That's seriously impressive. And here's the cool part, it wasn't just about the numbers. According to Terran, the phone also felt very smooth and responsive in everyday use, which is way more important than any battery percentage on paper. If this kind of performance actually makes it into the final stable version, then Samsung might finally make up for the One UI 7 battery disappointment. So even though One UI the 8th of May not bring a bunch of flashy features, it could give users something even more valuable, great battery life and smooth performance in daily use. And honestly, that's the kind of update that really makes a phone feel new again. What do you think? Are you excited for One UI 8? Do you think Samsung has finally solved the battery issue? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more tech updates. Also, make sure to click the bell icon so you never miss an update. We'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.